Hi, today we're going to talk about accuracy in thermal imaging cameras, specifically how it pertains to looking for elevated body temperature. Uh, my name is Andy Beck. I'm one of the co-founders of Viper Imaging. Um, we have a variety of different thermal imaging cameras that we use to look for elevated body temperature. Um, and we address that in some other videos you can find on our site. Uh, but what we want to talk about specifically is the accuracy specification. So prior to um, all the COVID-19 and current pandemic, almost every uh, camera spec out there uh, it involved a um, accuracy spec of plus or minus two degrees C. Uh, so that's important to note that while that is the accuracy on just about any camera, regardless of the manufacturer, that is the accuracy for the range of that camera being used throughout its entire uh, ambient conditions. So if you start up a camera and it's um, you know 40 degrees outside Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to be accurate just straight out of the box plus or minus two degrees C. Well, obviously if you're trying to measure someone's body temperature, you're looking at very small changes. So you're trying to really uh, get that tighter. Um, one of the ways that's done is simply by having the camera in a controlled environment. So most of the time when we're scanning for EBT for elevated body temperature, it's going to be in a controlled environment. So you're going to have um, a camera that's set up under typical office conditions. We try to make sure that it's not in direct sunlight, that there's not a lot of wind going on, different things that affect both the camera and the object that it's um, looking at. Uh, that increases automatically increases the uh, accuracy of the camera uh, quite a bit. Um, further from that, when you do what we call scanning mode, so it's also built into FLIR's uh, cameras, they have a scanning mode, and then we have that uh, scanning mode that's a little more enhanced through the Viper Vision system. Um, when you do that, you can get your accuracy down to really about 0 0.3 degrees C, so much tighter constraints on that accuracy spec. Now, what's more important and, and you really need to talk about is there's two different things that you can do uh, to make sure that you get the best measurement possible. So one is by doing, again, this scanning system, or screening, screening mode, as FLIR calls it, um, which allows you to take an average. So again, you, you take some of the accuracy specification out and you put it more into a repeatability standard. You want a camera that's very repeatable. You want to know exactly what it is and we want it to stay as stable as possible. Um, another means of doing that is using what we call a reference emitter. So a reference emitter or black body calibration is a known temperature source that's in the field of the view all the time. So while the object, while the subject is in the field of view, you also have a, a black body or reference emitter in the field of view that you know exactly what that temperature is. So in the case of a black body, you can set a temperature and say, hey, I want this to be 98.6. And you can always monitor that with the camera and adjust accordingly so the camera stays within calibration. Any drift that may happen in the, in the camera is taken care of with that. Further, if you have a reference emitter, which is what the Viper Vision system, or Viper system uses, we tie that into Viper Vision software and we don't really care what that temperature is. It allows us to use a, a lot less costly uh, component in the system but we're able to tie that in because we know exactly what that temperature is through a contact uh, temperature measurement system. So pulling that together allows the camera to basically close the loop and effectively self calibrate as, as, it, as you would say uh, for the system. That increases again the repeatability which is going to be your greatest factor on measuring uh, large um, numbers of people as you scan them through for pre-screening devices. So. Um, for uh, more information about this and some other topics that we cover, go to viperimaging.com. Thanks and have a great day.